So in first place, according to you guys, the best eyeshadow palette to ever exist. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I don't think a day has gone by since I posted my last episode of this series where somebody hasn't asked me when the eyeshadow palette video of the According To You series was coming. So here we are. We're gonna be talking about the top 10 eyeshadow palettes according to you. This is my series where I've been asking you guys to submit your favorite products per category. We've done everything from primers all the way to highlighters, and now we're doing Doing eyeshadow. Thank you to everybody who entered their favorites. I'm so excited to finally be able to share what you guys feel are the best eyeshadow palettes out there. As you guys know, this series is all because of you guys, and if you want to participate in the next episode, which is going to be mascara, I will have the mascara form in the description box down below. Feel free to enter your favorite mascara of all time, and I cannot wait to see the results from that video as well. All right, you guys, coming in at number 10 with 30 votes is the ColourPop that's taupe palette. I was really giddy to see that this ranked because this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. This is a palette that is more on the cool tone side, but I personally love it because there's a great mix of mattes and shimmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and read your reviews, which is how the series go. I love this part of the video. Amber said, I'm someone who used to be a sucker for warm tone palette. When I saw the ColourPop That's Taupe palette and specifically Allie's review, I had to pick it up. I'm from Ireland, so ordering from ColourPop can be a splurge with shipping and taxes. But anyway, this palette is phenomenal and really makes all eye colors pop. I have green eyes and can't get enough of the shades Pebble Beach and Snake Eyes. I feel like ColourPop releases so much that a lot of their really good products get swept under the bus. If you haven't tried cool tones and have been wanting to, you need this. It's so wearable, but also perfect for more smoky eyes. Love, love, love. Also, I love your channel, Allie. Thank you so much, Amber. I totally agree. ColourPop does launch quite a few palettes, and this is one of ColourPop's palettes that has really stuck in my personal routine. Erin said, when I tell you this is my everyday go-to palette, I mean everyday, LOL. If I'm wearing any makeup or eyeshadow, it's probably this palette. This has the perfect cool neutral tones that easily transition from day looks to night. It lives in my daily makeup kit, and when I hit pan, which will be soon, I'll definitely repurchase it. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Erin. I totally agree. I love that this goes from super everyday looks all the way to more glamorous looks for the nighttime. It's amazing. Plus the packaging is really cute as well. All right, the palette that ranked in ninth place with 33 votes was the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This one has been around for a while now, but it's something that's so... Oh my gosh. I... I'm shocked right now. Two of my eyeshadows just toppled out. <laughs> okay, mm, well, this is not going very well. Okay, I won't lift it up all the way. I did not know that those were loose in the pan. Okay. What I was trying to say before that terrifying moment was that this palette is something that's pretty timeless as far as the color scheme goes. I'm gonna be very careful lifting this up because two of the shades are very loose, so we'll just hold it like this. Robbie said, this is the perfect neutral everyday eyeshadow palette, but it also includes some cool toned shadows as well, so you can definitely get so many looks from natural to smoky. The quality is amazing. Shadows last all day and blend like a dream. This was my first Natasha palette and it was worth the money. If I could only keep one palette for the rest of my life, it would definitely be this one. I love your videos, Ali. Greetings from Mexico. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I love you. And I appreciate you guys so much. I love reading through the reviews specifically. You're all just so kind. I truly feel like I'm friends with you. Michaela said, I absolutely adore this palette. I thought I would never in a million years spend that much money on a palette, but I caved one day, decided to treat myself, and I haven't looked back. This palette has everything you need for simple everyday looks or more glam looks with multiple undertones to choose from. I truly can't say enough good things about this palette. Thanks so much for this series, Allie. I'm excited to watch every single video. Michaela, thank you. I loved your review on this and I'm so happy you're enjoying this series. It's one of my favorites to film. I look forward to every episode as well. All right, you guys, are you ready to see number eight? With 36 votes, one of my all-time favorites, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. I love this one. This palette is just fun, in my opinion. I love the textures in this palette. I love that there's mattes, and then there's also just gorgeous shimmers. Francesca said, I bought this palette after seeing you use it in a video, as we have a similar aesthetic, and it is probably my favorite makeup item I've ever bought. 
Oh, I love that. I love the color story and all the different textures in this palette. It is also easy to use and incredibly versatile. I've done very glam eye looks with it, but also one and done eye looks. I always feel great when I have this on my eyes, and if I get complimented on my eye makeup, I'm usually wearing this palette. I've also recommended it to several friends, and they also love it. Love this series and you, Allie. Thank you. Love you too, Francesca. And I love that you've recommended this to friends as well, and I love that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I feel so creative when I use this palette. Kat said, Mercury Retro grade is my perfect palette. The color story covers any season with pastels for spring, bright mint for summer, warm bronze tones for fall, and icy blue for winter. The quality is top notch and although there's a ton of variety of textures and colors, it all makes sense in one palette whether you like color or neutrals. The cover art is gorgeous. Here's what that looks like right here. And this palette is my travel dream because it's sleek and slim. It really is actually, it's easy to travel with. I take this with me as well. Rose Quartz is getting all the hype these days, but Mercury Retrograde really feels like the OG to me. It's even on sale at Sephora as I write this. Love these videos and your enthusiasm for this series on the channel. Thank you, Kat. I loved your review. Thank you for submitting that. And last time I checked, this was on sale as well, so we'll see if it still is. I will, of course, have all these palettes linked down below if you guys are interested in trying any of them, but I definitely love that palette. All right, you guys, moving on to number seven. This is a classic. Number seven with 43 votes is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. What a classic. This is well loved by me and I'm sure well loved by so many of you guys. I love this palette. It has so many great reds and oranges and a lot of matte tones in here. Pops of color, but still in a wearable way, which I really adore. Mara said, this palette started it all for me. It is so easy to use, blends so easily, so pigmented and lasts the whole day. Truly the perfect eyeshadow palette because you could create so many looks with it without trying too hard. Thanks for this fun series, Allie. I really love you and your channel because you're so sincere. Warmest greetings from the Philippines. Mara, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. I also love when you guys tell me where you're from. I think it's so fun to read through. Stephanie, hello, Allie. Love your videos. And I had to go through my eyeshadow palettes that I still have from 2015 and 2016. And Modern Renaissance is the one. The moment that it was introduced, it really had everyone in the beauty community and for us consumers and makeup lovers in a chokehold, it totally did since it was something we've never seen before and the fact that it was heavily duped among other drugstore brands really says a lot of its impact. When I wear it, I always get compliments saying how the eyeshadow makes my brown and hazel eyes pop. I totally agree with you, Stephanie. I feel like this totally changed the game when it came to eyeshadow palettes. This was the first time, at least for me anyway, where a palette captivated my soul and became something that I feel like almost everybody on YouTube and people all over the world loved and used and are still using. I would love to know in the comments how many of you guys have this palette and how many of you are still using it religiously because I don't think I know one person who's into makeup that hasn't tried this or if they haven't tried this one, they've tried a dupe, which like Stephanie said, I really think that shows the power that this palette had and still does have. All right, you guys, in sixth place with 44 votes is dun, 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 the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. Now, you guys know I bought this because of how popular it is. Let me show you the inside. It's a very basic palette, which is great for so many people. For me, I never got hooked on it the way that a lot of people did, but that's not to say it's not a great palette. And I know so many of you guys love this palette and so many influencers love this palette. It's been around for forever and it's been so popular for so long. Heidi said, I already know that this is going to rank because it was and still is so popular. The Tartlet and Bloom palette was the first higher end product I bought and I will never regret it. I still have the same palette from when I purchased it in eighth grade. I don't use it, but some of these products are just too sentimental to get rid of. Maybe In Bloom isn't your favorite range of shades, but Tarte eyeshadows continue to be my favorites. They're so smooth and oh my gosh, the smell is so nice without being strong. It's never talked about. Ali, you're such a kind soul. That's so sweet. And I feel as though I can always trust your opinion. I love your channel and your smile, XOXO. Heidi, you are so sweet. I love the smell of Tarte eyeshadow palettes as well. Tiffany said, this is hands down my go-to palette. It's the perfect palette to create a natural or glam look and it smells divine as well. The shade Funny Girl is the most gorgeous shimmer to pop on the eyelid. Whenever I travel, I almost always take this palette with me. I can't live without it. So this one is the shade Funny Girl right here. Ooh, that's really nice. 
I could totally see how that would be like a go-to shade on the eyelid. In fifth place with 49 votes is the ColourPop Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette. I really love how in every single one of these episodes, there's a great mix of high-end and affordable palettes, which I personally love because it really shows that good makeup can be in any category. Here's this one right here. I love this palette. It's got matte shades, shimmer shades, and also it leans more neutral. It's not too warm, not too cool toned. It's one of the best palettes I think that ColourPop has created, in my opinion. Mallory said, Hi, Allie. When I had to think about my favorite palette, I immediately knew what the answer was. I was afraid my pick was too boring or basic, but honestly, who cares? Going Coconuts has been an essential palette for me since the day I bought it based off of your recommendation. I love the color story, the compactness, and the giant mirror, which makes getting ready much easier. I can go for a simple everyday work appropriate look or glam it up. The center shade Coco Crush is my absolute favorite shadow ever and applies like a dream. It's been two years since I've had the palette and I love it just the same. Thank you so much for the recommendation and for being you. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Mallory. I'm so happy that you picked this up based off of my recommendation and that you've loved it so thoroughly for years. That makes me really happy to see the things that I love and recommend end up being things that you guys end up loving. That's so satisfying to me and literally the purpose of my job. So that makes me so happy. Libby said, I like this palette because it's so versatile. You can do a quick everyday look with it or you can go full glam using this palette. I also feel like you can get away with using it all year round, which is true, I agree. The formula of the shadows make it easy to blend and they all work so well together. I love this series so much and can't wait for the video, including all the number one products. Love you so much, Allie. Love you too, Libby. And yes, everybody asks every single episode if I'm gonna do a video at the end of this series where I use every number one ranked product and do a full face. The answer is yes, but we have a lot more episodes to do before then. It's such a good classic palette. I love this one. All right, you guys, we are getting closer to the end. In fourth place with 72 votes is bah, 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 the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Original or Volume 1 Palette. Such a classic eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is iconic at this point, honestly. Like if you've been in love with makeup for the past few years even, or maybe even recently, I still feel like this is a palette that still sells, that still, you know, inspires people. And it's something that's been used by almost everyone. So let's see what you guys had to say about this palette. Jamie said, I have a special connection with this palette because it was my first big splurge makeup purchase. Despite the personal collection, I still love this product. Product. The formula is creamy, pigmented, and exceptionally easy to blend. Even though I've added several other palettes to my collection, I still get excited and giddy to pull this one out. The tones are flattering and can easily give you day or nighttime looks. I always get compliments when I wear these eyeshadows. This is my first time commenting, but had to love on my OG palette that's been in my collection the longest. I love watching your videos, Allie, especially this series. Thank you for being a bright spot in my day-to-day -day life. You guys, you do not have to put such sweet things in your messages, but I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for your kind words, Jamie. I appreciate you and I love you. And I love the story that you had behind this palette. I definitely feel like this is nostalgic for me as well. And it reminds me of a great time in makeup. All right, Emily said, the best everyday palette I have yet to find. If I'm ever in a rush, I know I can depend on this palette to give me an effortlessly chic look. When I have more time, it also offers some variety of colors and shades to play with to do more dramatic looks. A forever staple palette for me. Love you, Allie, and love this series. Love you too, Emily. And again, you guys, like it makes me so happy that you love this series. And I love this palette. I feel like there is such an amazing mix of tones and textures in this where it's very approachable for the everyday girl, but also it gives you colors that you can play with, but the colors are also more wearable and more approachable than you think. Okay, you guys, we're moving into the top three now. And third place with 77 votes is bum bum bum. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This one is a classic. What a gorgeous palette. This is another palette that when it launched, I feel like it really took the beauty industry by storm. It became everyone's favorite bridal palette and even everyday palette. And it was something that I dipped into nonstop when it first launched. And I still keep it around in my collection because the shades and the tones and the textures are just so approachable and so classic and timeless. Sarah said, I own so many eyeshadows, but no matter what, I always go back to the ABH Soft Glam. It has the right amount of pigment 
Pigment is blendable and has all the shades that I need. I can use it for everyday makeup looks or for more festive occasions. It was one of my first eyeshadow palettes, so I've tried to find a replacement since it's getting kind of old, but nothing really compares, so I might just buy a new one. Love your videos. Greetings from Denmark. Thank you, Sarah. I loved your review. I feel like it's really telling when you are about to run out of something or if it's expiring and you just can't find something that inspires you as much, so you buy another one. I think that really shows how good a product is. Alyssa said, I hoard eyeshadow palettes. If there's one in my collection that I always reach for, it is this. I adore the pigmentation and the formula of this palette. I can do day and night looks with this one palette. The shades last forever on my eyes and never crease. I also adore the Modern Renaissance palette, but Soft Glam stole my heart. I love that. And you're right, the formula is so good on these. Marina said, the ABH Soft Glam palette is my all-time favorite. I can do very natural makeup with it for everyday wear and can also do more intense eye looks for different occasions when I want to glam up. The shadows are beautiful, easy to work with, pigmented, and blendable. Love you, Allie, from Montreal, Canada. Thank you, Marina. I seriously love hearing where you guys are from. It makes me so happy to hear that, like, we all live all over the world, but we still unite through makeup, you know? And like, we still wear the same palettes. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. All right, you guys, we're at the top two. And in second place, which is what I mostly have all over my eyes, is bum -ba -da -bum, the Natasha Denona Glam Eyeshadow Palette. 93 of you guys submitted this as the best eyeshadow palette of all time. This took the beauty industry by storm as well. I love this palette. I think it's so easy to use. It's so flattering. This is something that I think is a great bridal palette if you're looking for one. Andrea said, I am not an eyeshadow person. I was so intimidated by color combos and how to blend properly. Then this beauty came along and I figured I'd give it a shot. Let me tell you, you can't mess up this palette if you tried. I actually did my makeup for my best friend's wedding. This year, I was maid of honor. That's so fun. With this palette, because I knew it would look fab no matter what. If you're like me and are apprehensive about eyeshadow, do yourself a favor and get this palette. Love you, Allie. Thank you for making these videos. Love you too. Thank you for your review. I agree. I told you guys in another video, I had a moment like that as well. I had to do my sister's wedding makeup in 30 minutes. It's a really long story, but this palette saved my life because I looked at it and I was like, ooh, okay, transition, outer corner, blend, crease. And I didn't even have to think at all. And I slapped it on her eyes and it looked phenomenal. Cindy said, just getting into eyeshadow now that I'm in my 50s, better late than never, I guess. I love that. It's never too late to get into makeup. Makeup. I am loving all of the Natasha Denona palettes, large and small, but there's something special about this one. The shades are all so wearable with a great mix of mattes and shimmers. The shimmer shade formula is exceptional. The price is totally justifiable because it gives me the ability to create so many different looks from one palette. Really enjoying this series, Ali. Thanks. Thank you, Cindy, for your review. I always love when people comment and say that, you know, they're over 50 because I feel like when someone with more mature skin or someone who's tried so many products, you know, throughout their lifetime, if you've been into beauty, has a favorite now, I just, I don't know. There's something about that where I really trust my more mature audience and their recommendations. So thank you, Cindy, for your review. Lisa said, hey, Ali, I had a hard time choosing my favorite palette, but if I were to use all my eyeshadow palettes, I believe the Natasha Denona Glam palette would be the first one I'd go back and repurchase. It just has such gorgeous shades for all occasions, and I love that it leans more on the cool side. I personally find that they flatter me more than warm shades, and I really do feel glam every time I pull it out. Love you and this series. Thanks, Lisa, for your review. I definitely agree. It is more of a cool tone palette, but it's something that I think is really wearable and definitely makes you feel super glam. All right, you guys, in first place with 116 votes. Now, this palette will not come as a surprise to so many of you guys, but it's also a little bit heartbreaking <laughs> because you can't get it anymore, which... I'm sure you guys know what I'm gonna say now. So in first place, according to you guys, the best eyeshadow palette to ever exist is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, you guys, I know if you've tried this, you know what I'm talking about. The way that this makes you feel, the way that the formula blends out, the way that it's set up, it's something unlike anything that I personally own in my collection. This is a palette that was created by Tati Westbrook here on YouTube, who 
I personally really adore and have had the pleasure of meeting and I just feel like she is so creative and so talented and this palette was no exception. It's something that really created waves in the beauty space and I feel like anyone who got their hands on this became obsessed with it. Clearly, it ranked at number one. I'm sure you guys are aware if you do own this palette that Tati Beauty is no longer around and I really do hope that Tati one day comes out with more products and more makeup because I feel like this is absolutely magical. I'm wearing the glitter all over the eyes. I didn't want to do a full look with this because in case you didn't have it, I didn't want to, you know, be wearing a palette that you can't get anymore, but I could not not use the glitters, which is my favorite part of the palette. Caitlin said, there is no formula like this one. I have never tried an eyeshadow product that blends more beautifully. It's perfect for natural and glam makeup. I take it everywhere I travel as it's the only eyeshadow palette I ever need. Even the glitters stick to the lid and stay there all day without a primer. They also transfer from your finger to your lid without sticking to your finger. To this day, I have never found a formula as high quality. Breaks my heart that I cannot repurchase this product. Thank you for these videos. I genuinely find them so interesting and helpful in deciding what products I want to purchase next. Love you, girl. Love you too, Caitlin. I loved your review. And I definitely agree. The formula is so high quality and the glitter formula specifically is unlike anything I've ever tried. Melanie said, the Tati Beauty palette is the best palette. All of the different textures and colors are perfect. The palette is the easiest to blend palette that I own. I'm so sad that Tati closed the company. I was looking forward to more palettes from her. This series is so fun to watch and see what products I love that others also love. I was also looking forward to more products and palettes from Tati as well, and I really hope that she does end up creating something in the future. But I also believe in timing, and I just feel like when the time is right, and if she wants to, she will. And so I know we will all be waiting <laughs> for her to launch a new eyeshadow palette if that ever comes around again. I'll be the first one to buy it. Alina said, such an incredible palette. It has all neutrals, dark shades, purples, shimmers, mattes, anything. And the glitter is unbelievable, but you already know that. Yes, I love the glitter. And I'm so sad that Tati Beauty is closed now, but we believe in her creativity. She will come up with something else for sure. I love that and I totally agree. I feel like she will as well. Maria said, hi from Greece. I've always wanted to go to Greece. I love that you live there. I have many favorites in this category, but I really needed to mention this one. It has one of the best formulas regarding the matte shades and one of the blackest blacks I have ever had. The glitters are amazing and that aura glitter is unique. The metallics are like butter and the mattes with those little sparkles are something else. It has been my go-to everyday palette and the one I have been choosing for a full glam look. It broke my heart that it's been discontinued. I shall be using it till it really expires and then I shall keep it as a reminder of how precious it has been to me. Love your series and you all together. That was such a sweet review, Maria. Thank you so much for your kind words about this palette and this series. I totally am with you. I'm gonna be using this until there's not an ounce left. I'm actually like the most bummed about the glitters, especially the Aura Glitter shade. You can see how much I've loved that. So, you know, I might ration the Aura Glitter, but I'm gonna try to really enjoy and use this up. And once it expires, I feel like I too will also keep it because it really is such a gorgeous palette. Before you go, don't forget to submit your favorite mascara in the description box down below. I will have the Google form linked there. Fill it out for a chance to be featured in my next episode and I cannot wait to see what mascaras you guys love overall. Let me know in the comments what palettes you loved out of this top 10. Do you own them all? Do you agree with some? Do you disagree with some? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. I love you all so much. Thank you so much to every single comment that was left. You guys are amazing. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. This makes me want to dip into all these palettes all over again. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.